this is a letter here from the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio. Recognizing the Troopers as the winningest team in professional football history. But when you see this stuff, it like comes to life. This is trapped in historical limbo. All this stuff was just trapped. Nobody knew about it. I'm not sure that we were ever going to get the story out until this moment right now. My friend of mine, uh, she says, hey, they're got a football team going for girls. They're gonna, you, know, you wanna go try out with me? And I went, oh, okay. Girls didn't participate in sports. Girls just wore dresses and looked cute and looked for husbands. People thought it was powder puff football until they came to a game. Five one, five two, hundred and ten pounds. Heart of a lion. You talking about heart. Coach gave me a helmet and shoulder pads and said hit her. Okay. By Sunday, I was either on crutches or I could barely walk. We did a lot of hitting. Nothing like they do now. <laughs> funny. I said, girl, you're going to eat this nail polish before this day is over. We were unstoppable. It was picture perfect. It was unbelievable. We had more to prove. Never be another football team like the Toyota Troopers. Other teams tried. No one else could do it. Those women made history and their record still stands. You can see their story Saturday at the Valentine Theater. From the Toledo Troopers, Center Joey Upfer and defensive line woman Gloria Jimenez join us this morning. Good morning to both of you. How are you? Good morning. So we saw something incredible, some snapshots of something incredible. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? So, well, it, uh, it was uh, totally amazing that back 50 years ago that the coaches would have had the forethought to start a women's football team and then to be able to manage 25 women and keeping them focused for six months, five, six months by the time we started our training and then got through all the games and, and our championships. So those guys did an incredible job. Well, I mean, you guys, the winningest team, I mean, what does that mean to you? And, and to be from Toledo, like, this is just what a wonderful thing for the Glass City. What does the winningest team mean to you? Well, it, it just shows that women can accomplish anything they want to. I mean, that's what we were, you know, coached to do. Um, we were barrier breakers. And in fact, they just honored us at the Hall of Fame Stadium where they had the women's championships games from the Women's Football Alliance. And, uh, you know, it was just a door open for us and, and we just, you know, made it happen. What kind of challenges did you have to overcome? I mean, you were speaking about breaking barriers. Well, I think, you know, I grew up in a family of, of eight people, five brothers, very competitive. Um, you know, people didn't understand women sweating and being in football gear and and you know get possibly getting hurt my parents were always worried i would get hurt and, and uh but you know that was just something that each woman took on themselves to decide they would like to play something like this in an organized male oriented you know it was uh, it was male dominated and you know and it was just something that the door opened and there we were you said why not me why not me? So with this documentary, what do you want people to know about it? The, the story, um, what we went through, um, the, the challenges that we, we had all faced uh, by, by the mid to late 70s um, as, as the team became much more popular, we started drawing big crowds like 3,000 people over at Waite Stadium and uh, news media coverage. And uh, so it was, we were coming into our own and people then started realizing who we were. When, and, the, uh, you, when you were speaking, you know, realizing a little bit about who you were, when you were inducted to the NFL Hall of Fame, you know, explain a little bit about that whole experience. Was that surreal for you? Well, Unfortunately, I was unable due to the fact that I was working and I could not make it down there, but I think it just 
It was the recognition that we deserved, you know, for winning as many years as we did and being champions. And I, I think that it's a record that's probably in my mind never going to be broken. And hopefully the girls playing football today, which there's a lot of girls playing football today, will, you know, understand that and see the barriers that we broke just to get where we were at. You can be the role model to show them, hey, you can do this. How can people watch this documentary and learn more about your story? Come to the Valentine on um, Saturday night. Set. Doors open at six, yeah, and the screening starts at seven. Tickets uh, you can get online. P do people need to register? They just need that ticket. They can go, doors open at six, screening at seven, as you said, um, at the Valentine Theater. Yes, and uh, we'll be there, and uh, we'd love to see everybody. Will you be signing some autographs? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> That's also, wonderful. It's right at the door. They don't have to go on. If they can't get it online, they can get get the ticket right there. Just okay. come right get a ticket. Good to know. So if you can't go online, you can buy tickets at the door this Saturday at the Valentine Theater. Doors open at 6, screening at 7. You guys are going to be there signing autographs and sharing your story. Guys, thank you so much for being on your day and sharing a little bit of this inspiration with us. What? I mean, my hat's off to you. Thank you so much for uh, leaving the charge in the Glass City. Thank you, Erin. Thank you. Thank you so much. Best of luck this Saturday. Well, leaders.